What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here and wow, what a monumental and huge day for Apple today. New iPhone SE announced at the event, the iPad Pro 9.7 inch, new Apple Watch bands, and a whole bunch of other minor things and a ton of software dumped on us today. So iOS 9.3 has just been released to the public. It's been months, so many months, seven betas, and we now finally have the final version. And in this video, I just wanted to introduce you to it, give you a heading on iOS 9.3, summarize it, and there are a few little changes from the last beta to this one that I wanted to cover as well and talk about speed, you know, everything you need to know. And I also want to talk a little bit about jailbreak stuff for the people waiting for the jailbreak. It's a monumental time right now and I'll get to that in a minute. So alongside iOS 9.3, Apple did release Apple Watch OS 2.2. TV OS 9.2 if you have the new Apple TV 4 and OS 10.11.4. That one I would recommend you update to right away. Feels great. So iOS 9.3 on my 6S. I want to show you guys what happened before and after updating. So before updating on 9.2.1 on my 128 gigabyte 6S Plus, I had 76.6 .6 available, 113 capacity. After updating, 76.7. So not as big of a change as uh, other times, 0.1 gigabyte added, but hey, uh, I'll take that over anything. So not much in terms of clearing up storage, but there are a few notable minor fixes that I wanted to talk about that changed from beta seven. So Apple actually introduced a new encryption for iCloud backups and in general iCloud. So you have to use your passcode from your phone in order to access them. This is an attempt to stop FBI from being able to force Apple to give them the passcode. They won't know the passcode for your iCloud account, which you actually use your uh, system device passcode to encrypt it, which is an awesome touch. There's been a new bug that's been found in iMessage that would allow someone to decrypt uh, text messages, photos that are being sent to and from devices and uh, to intercept that and download that data. So Apple has patched that in 9.3. And inside of playlists and music, you are now able to do full screen for the player, which is kind of interesting uh, choice for that feature, but it's very, very minor. Otherwise, it's virtually unchanged from beta seven. And as you guys know, iOS 9.3 in general is a huge update, really, really big. There are over 40 features I counted and changes, just the biggest real quick, pretty much new toggles on stocks, you know, uh, settings. There is uh, some changes with the logos on the App Store and iTunes ones. In general, it's just welcome changes to 3D Touch has been made more useful. Ah, and in the App Store, you can actually 3D touch and preview stuff as well. There's so much guys, just too much to list. In notes, uh, you can encrypt notes. There's a lot of education based features on the iPad. CarPlay improvements, if you have a new enough car to see that. In general, a lot of good stuff guys. I encourage you to watch my iOS 9.3 review to get the full picture because I will not be able to go over everything here. I have already done that. So I also wanted to add that on the 6S Plus, the lag is not fixed. So jumping into things right here, will uh, still yield that lag in landscape mode, which can be quite annoying. Definitely uh, something that I wish Apple would fix, maybe 9.3.1. Performance wise, guys, I gotta say it is fantastic. So Apple's optimized the performance on older devices in particular. Uh, for 3D touch, they've made animations a little bit smoother. In general, your phone will feel more alive, more responsive, and that can definitely be seen more on the older phone. So that's why I'm producing a full speed comparison on every phone and I'll have that up in a few hours here. So I just wanna say it feels great. The performance is top notch. Just gonna run a quick Geekbench on the 6S for you. And there's that. So uh, a little bit better. This is very, very minor stuff, but you know, it is a little bit better. It's the performance you can feel in the actions, in the animations, this thing is great. So I'm gonna be doing a full speed test. Be sure to check back. But if you have any doubts about performance, don't. It definitely improves lower performance on the you know lower end devices. So definitely something you should update for. And I just wanted to talk about bug fixes. So there are a few bug fixes that uh, this introduces. 1970 bug in particular has been fixed where you'd set back your time, your device wouldn't reboot ever after that point if you set it back to 1970, January 1st. Inaccurate battery percentage has also been fixed. So people that were getting reports of wrong battery life, it'd be jumping around a lot, the percentage that's been fixed. And 3D touching in the keyboard. So for this has gotten a lot more reliable. Now it's a lot easier to press. There'd be sometimes you would press it and nothing would happen, but now it's definitely been made a lot more reliable. Otherwise, 
That's how it was 9.3 for you. Again, I'm not covering everything, but be sure to check out the 9.3 review to see everything. Jailbreakers. So if you're waiting to jailbreak 9.2, 9.2.1, or 9.3, what's going on? Well, ENMTW, the guy that everybody had their hopes on, seems to be a little bit flaky. He actually said he'd be releasing a 9.2, 9.2.1 jailbreak before the release of 9.3. Obviously, that hasn't happened. Now 9.3 is out, and we're not hearing anything reliable. In fact, some uh, another jailbreak developer has called them out for being completely fake. Nico, I'm inclined to believe this may be a fake. It's not 100% certain yet, but we still have hope on the Pangu and Taiji jailbreak team, so don't give up yet, guys. These next few days, even next few hours could be crucial. But right now, what you guys need to know is do not update to 9.3 if you want a jailbreak. Pangu never expressed that they were working on a 9.3 jailbreak. In fact, 9.3 has been made more difficult by fixing lots of security patches, lots of holes and exploits that could have been used for a jailbreak. 9.2 or 9.2.1 is the prime place to be. And you can always downgrade back to 9.2.1 for about a week and a half from now. Keep that in mind. Stay on iOS 9.2.1 if you ever want to jailbreak or 9.2 if you're on it. Don't update to 9.2.1. Stay there. Better safe than sorry as we've seen last week with the 9.1 jailbreak. Anyways, guys, Thanks so much for watching. Just a quick update on what's going on with the 9.3 right now. I'll have that full speed test comparison up for you very, very soon. It's a great update, really. I'm very proud of Apple. They took their sweet time with it, seven betas after all. And in the end, we get a fast, silky smooth operating system. And this is definitely gonna be one of the best firmwares remembered before iOS 10. Everybody's gonna be saying 9.3 was so much better performing than 10.0, and that'll probably be true. But stay tuned for uh, many more videos, guys. Peace.